Good morning. Happy Sunday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me again uh, for the word of the Lord. Thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you to all our oldies. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, if you have not yet seen the um, prayer therapy video, it's going to be every Wednesday now. The Lord had to pull me up about that one. Um, and I saw where he had given me the instruction that that would be weekly. Um, but listen, I was trying to make it every other week. But yeah, he reminded me. I told you my grace is sufficient. And so the prayer therapy um, videos will be every Wednesday. Um, and the um, uh, marriage and relationship uh, boot camp video will be every other Friday. And so expect a video this Wednesday as well as this Friday. God bless you. Thank you to all of you who are watching those videos and leaving your comments. I appreciate you all. Um, God bless you. And so today I have a prophetic word and I have to tell you this is a prophetic warning. Um, God is calling his church to order. And so this is a message to the church. Uh, it is a message to the bride of Christ. And um, I, towards the end of November, exactly, exactly November 26th, um, the Lord gave me a prophetic word. I'm going to share that with you. And um, he also, while I was on my dry fasts um, on the 30th of December, which is the fourth day of my seven day dry fast, the Lord continue to speak concerning this matter and um, this is in regards to sort of a continuation of the video that I um, put up in November um, regarding justice and vengeance and so the Lord continues to say that this year 2021 will be the year of restoration for the Saints but it is going to be a year of justice and vengeance for the enemies of God. And so um, I would like to share this word with you. I, I allowed God to, to give me uh, a time to release this because when I received the message, I felt, you know, like I, it, he wanted me to release it, but he made me wait because he had more to say. And so um, I'm going to tell you how this came about. I was um, in November, on November 26th, um, I saw a news uh, feed on my phone. And you all know what was going on in November. You all know what went down um, up until this point. And so um, I was trying to cancel that feed, sort of to say I'm not interested, because it was a news feed and it was filled with the, the title of it just sort of made me sad and just disheartened by what was going on. And so as I did press that button to say, I'm not interested, I heard the Lord sing a song in my spirit. And the song is Psalm 4, verse 2. It says, O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing? The Derby translation says, Ye sons of men, till when is my glory to be put to shame? How long will you love vanity? How long will you seek after a lie? And the New Living Translation says, How long will you people ruin my reputation? My God. How long will you make groundless accusations? How long will you continue your lies? Then the Lord said to me, I am not as interested in the position or title or office as I am in the vessel. That is the person. I can use anyone to carry out my agenda in the earth. I am the Lord. I change it not. I use the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. I am the Lord. Fear not. My purpose will be established in the earth. My ways are not your ways, saith the Lord, neither your thoughts mine. I am the Lord, I change it not. You propose, but I, the Lord, dispose. Who can question me or call me to order? I am that I am. 
Every tree that I have not planted will be uprooted by the roots. I am the Lord, I change it not. So then the Lord said, there will be nothing hidden any longer to my people. The enemy has tormented them long enough. I, the Lord, I am ready to deliver and to set free. See, and as the Lord said this to me, I saw Isaiah chapter 49. Isaiah chapter 49, and the Lord led me to verse 22 to 26. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles and set up my standards to the people. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord for they shall not be ashamed that wait on me. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the loveful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee and I will save thy children and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Yes, I will deliver, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord reminded me, and I am reminding you, that 2021 is the year of restoration for the saints and of vengeance for the enemies of God. And the Lord said to me, be careful that in your fighting for me, you don't become my enemy. Be careful that in your fighting for me, you don't become my enemy. And he reminded me of the story of Uzzah, who was helping to carry the Ark of the Covenant. And he saw that the Ark tilted and attempted to help to stabilize the, the ark. But in his trying to help, he broke a law, a divine law, and the Lord struck him down and killed him. My God. The Lord said, many will fall, but their fall has been long time coming. I, the Lord, pull down one and lifts up another. I own the key to the heart of men and kings. Don't you doubt me. I am coming in my fury, saith the Lord. Only those who are mine will be able to withstand the heat thereof. Do not relent in well-doing, for you will surely reap a harvest in due time if you faint not. He who has an ear. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And I have uh, many biblical references because if you have a word from the Lord and you have no biblical reference, then you're missing something. You have to go back and make sure that you're not hearing from your emotions and that you're hearing from the Spirit's ears. My God, my God, that you're hearing from the Spirit's ear. And the first reference is at Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. This is the Living Bible translation. Man proposes, but God disposes. Isaiah 45, 7 to 12 says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, what makest thou, O thy work? He hath no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, what begetteth thou? 
or to the woman, what hast thou brought forth? Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker, ask me of a thing to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands command ye me. I have made the earth and created upon it and created man upon it. I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens and all their hosts have I commanded. Isaiah 55, eight to nine, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Matthew 15 and 13, it replied, every plant that my heavenly father had not planted will be pulled up by the roots. First Corinthians 1 and 27, but God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Psalm 76, 6 to 7 says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. He put it up one and, and it, it put it down one and set it up another. Uh, the last one is Nahum chapter 1 from, from verse 2 to 7. God is a jealous God. God is jealous and the Lord revenge it. The Lord revenge it and is furious. Oh, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserved wrath for his enemies. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord at his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. He rebuked the sea and make it dry, and dry it up all the rivers. Bashan languished and Carmel, and the flower of Lebanon languished. The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world, and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This was a message that was heavy on my heart. Struggled with coming to share this, but it must be spoken. My God, for the Lord has spoken, I am nothing but his mouthpiece. If you will hear this word with the ear of your spirit and not your emotions, you will hear what the Lord is saying. My God, remember that the book of Nahum is about prophecy against Nineveh. They were worshipers of idols, just like Jonah was sent a hundred years earlier. Nahum's prophecy showed Christians in those days that although God may postpone the destruction of the wicked, their doom is nonetheless inevitable. He's saying the same to us believers in this day. This shows God's concern over sin and his willingness to punish those, those that are guilty of wickedness and his power to carry out his desire for judgment. We must pray, saints, my God, the church must pray. Not only pray, but repent and turn back to God. For we serve a jealous God. And anything, either good or bad, or anyone we put before God in our hearts is a lowercase God. It becomes an idol. It becomes an idol. We must repent. We must come back to him. We must turn back to him. We must allow him back in. We must allow him back in. Remember the message in November was about a call to prayer. And I prayed as the Lord led me at the end of the video, praying that we are putting God back. 
on the throne where he belongs, on the throne of our hearts. Lord, we repent. We put you back on the throne, Father. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. As a body of Christ, we repent. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. We will not strive with you any longer. We surrender control of this nation to you. We surrender the control of our lives to you, Lord. We surrender control of your body to you. This is not about the church building. You and I are a part of the body of Christ. We surrender, Lord. We surrender, Lord. We surrender, Lord. Let there be revival. Let there be revival, Lord. We're sorry for the things that we've made it. When it's all about you. Oh, it's all about you. It's all about you, Father. It's all about you, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it. When it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. We're sorry, Lord, for the thing we've made it. When it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. Oh, it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. The state of the church grieves the heart of the Lord. We must turn back. We must turn back to him. God bless you all. Again, I pray that you listen with the ear of your spirit and not your emotions. This has nothing to do with political parties. This has to do everything to do with whom it should always be about God and understanding the power of his might and understanding that he is God and no one can question him no one can dethrone him he is God all by himself God bless you have a wonderful brand new week.